Hello friends, followers and channel members, some exciting news for you today and I'm really pleased to announce that version 2 of SimSmart has just been released. Now for those of you not familiar with SimSmart, SimSmart is an A320 Neo performance calculator based on the real world performance calculator developed by Airbus FlySmart. Working exactly the same way as its real-world counterpart, SimSmart allows you to obviously select your departure airport runway, get the meta automatically, pop in a few parameters regarding your takeoff weight, your configuration, what the state of the runway is in, and from there it will calculate your flex temp, V speeds, and also give you engine out procedures for most major airports. Very important as well, it will also give you your thrust reduction and acceleration values and a maximum takeoff weight depending on the current conditions and runway length. One of the biggest upgrades to version 2 of SimSmart is it now features a massive speed increase in retrieving the airport data and performing the calculations. As well as this, the calculations that are made are now even more accurate than in the previous version. There's now also a better reliability for those of you using the units of pounds instead of kilograms and tons, and there's also been general bug fixes as well. Installation is now far easier, and in fact, there isn't really any installation required. Once you've downloaded and extracted the zip file, you'll see a couple of documents in there explaining the process, but all you really need to do is select the SimSmart EXE executable file and then this will run and you can put this folder wherever you wish. So the program is no longer installed, it just runs from any location on your hard drive. So to give a quick demonstration of the new speed for version 2, we'll just do a quick calculation here from Fertaventura. We can see the airport is obviously pulled in really quickly as is the meta and then you can go through and set everything up as you would do in the previous version of SimSmart checking the takeoff weight go ahead and enter this in and then once we filled all that in we'll go ahead hit calculate and where users were previously reporting a few seconds to a few minutes delay in getting the calculations we should see that hitting calculate just does this pretty much instantly there we go and you can see quite accurately on a nice long runway like here in Fortaventura we've got high flex and we have high V speeds now, as in the initial release of SimSmart, the previous version, all of the data that SimSmart uses has been checked against the real-world FlySmart program used by real-world pilots. You'll find that SimSmart is realistic up to airport elevations of around 4,000 feet. And the reason for this is because SimSmart has been based upon a European database where of course there aren't actually that many airports at high altitude. That's not to say of course that you can't use SimSmart for any airport in the world, just if you are going from a high altitude airport it's best to always use a high config such as TOGA and config3. But SimSmart is more realistic and closely matches real world values below 4000 feet elevation airports. SimSmart version 2 also focuses really keenly on the maximum takeoff weight. This is now the calculation that SimSmart does first. So at an airport like this, Jersey, where we've got a quite short runway, after you've entered in all your flight parameters, it will calculate the maximum takeoff weight first. And if it appears that you're going to be above that weight, it will not calculate any V speeds and tell you basically that you will need to reconfigure. Your options then of course are to offload some fuel, throw some passengers out or perhaps more sensibly select a higher config such as TOGA and FLAPS 3. This will then as per the real world increase your maximum takeoff weight. Lots of people also following SimSmart's release were asking about the trim value. Where do you set the trim or where do you found the CFG trim value? Well, SimSmart doesn't do this and that's because the real world FlySmart doesn't do this, not on the performance calculations page. In fact, finding your CFG couldn't be easier. All you need to do on the McDo is go to the fuel predictions page after engine start. There you can see your CFG and from there that is how you set your trim value before departure. For those of you who have already purchased a copy of SimSmart, keep an eye on your inbox as an email will be sent out to you with upgrade instructions and a link to download version 2. 
if you are a new customer to SimSmart then go to their website the link is in the video description down below where you can just go ahead and purchase this for the small price of £4.75 and receive your download link instantly to version 2. If you do have any questions about the software, then you can either leave a comment here on YouTube or, of course, we have a dedicated Discord channel for SimSmart, which, again, a link can be found in the video description. And finally, before I leave you in this video, one final piece of exciting information regarding SimSmart. At the moment, whilst it is just a PC-based program, we were initially looking at the idea of creating an app for SimSmart so you'd have it on Android, and then eventually in the future, iOS. Well, we've decided that actually we're going to scrap that idea, and instead we're having a web-based version. So it doesn't matter whether you're on PC, a smartphone, an Apple, or Android, it's going to be accessible on every medium. This will be the next update for SimSmart, hopefully coming within the next couple of months. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have found this video useful. Remember, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. Thanks very much, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.